Police say he was all alone, a toddler, three or four years old, wandering in this Shaker Heights neighborhood after noon on Saturday. Little kid looking like, you know, he lost out here. Right along the sidewalk right here, going towards that stop sign. Thankfully, Dwayne Parrish was there. He noticed the little boy with curly hair walking down Onaway Road holding a toy dinosaur. I knew that the kid, some adult, should have been carrying them by arm or something like that. Parrish, a mailman, says he knows the area well. He and other neighbors called 911 and helped the little boy along with Shaker Heights police who quickly responded. Two of the police cruisers came and they were going door to door asking that anybody can identify the child. Nobody could seem to do it. Police say the toddler was spotted not too far away from this busy intersection at Onaway and Van Aken. Neighbors say it's a miracle that this child was not hit by a vehicle. Van Aken and Onaway, Van Aken is a major street in Shaker Heights, Van Aken and Shaker Boulevard. There's lots of traffic, there's a rapid transit. I just thank goodness that, um, you know, that he wasn't walking in the street during the time when cars were coming because Van Aken is probably the busiest street I know of. After neighbors near Chadbourne and Onaway gave the boy food and helped keep him calm, police took the toddler back to the department on Lee Road. Hours later, a commander told Fox 8 the boy's family was located. They will be working to ensure everyone is okay and the family is reunited at the appropriate time. That's a good end to the story because look at this big street. <laughs> look at this railroad crossings and everything else. Parrish is relieved the boy is safe, and he says he just did what anyone should have done, call for help. I'm happy ending on a beautiful day, and I just hope that everything turns out well. In Shaker Heights, Allison Brown, Fox 8 News.